Good afternoon. I pray that your Tuesday was filled with spaces and places of joy, of peace, of happiness. Maybe you did something unexpected. Some of you may have noticed I did not do a video yesterday, and that's because I did something that was outside of my norm. I'm actually looking to move into a 55 plus community, and so I was out most of the day looking at properties. And by the time I got home in the evening, I was exhausted. So please accept my apologies, but I pray that you did something unexpected. Maybe you ate something you haven't had in a long time. Maybe you saw something you haven't seen. Maybe someone you got a call. I don't know, but I hope you had an opportunity to do something unexpected that made you smile. We're starting a new series and it's we're going to focus on signs that you may be mentally or emotionally exhausted my last video which i call um, getting caught up on monday kind of talked about how as we continue to go through <coughs> excuse me five to six months of this COVID social distancing that it's some days is not as, as easy to get through the day as others. Um, school has started back up for a lot of people, so a lot of you are now back having to assist your children with virtual learning. Some of you are Zoomed out because that's what you spend your day doing for your job. Um, and some of us, as I said in that other video, every now and then you're just tired of not being able to do what you wanna do. And so I decided, based on a post that I saw, which I will share later, to do a series on signs that you may be mentally or emotionally exhausted. Now, there's a difference, I think, if you have like clinical depression, which had nothing to do with COVID, and COVID may have pushed some people into clinical depression, but I'm just talking about just being exhausted. Just, just tired of, of this, tired of COVID, tired of people dying from it, tired of there not being a vaccine, tired of wearing masks, tired of not being able to hug your loved ones, tired of being in the house with the people you've been isolated with and just wanting to see someone else, wanting to do something else, wanting to go to a restaurant or wanting to go to the grocery store without having to be six feet away and walk in a certain direction. You know what I'm talking about. And so the first sign we want to look at is you're easily irritated. And, and, and you know, some of you, <coughs> my throat is dry. Some of you were easily irritated before COVID, okay? Um, one of the um, signs or, or things that come after one has been traumatized is you have increased irritability. Things get on your nerves. But for some of us, <coughs> COVID has actually increased your irritability. You find yourself snapping for no good reason, um, if someone says good morning, it irritates you. If someone doesn't say good morning, it irritates you. Um, you're annoyed because what you ordered from Instacart, they did not get exactly what you had ordered. Um, you're annoyed because you nearly need to go to the grocery store and you find yourself walking down the aisle with an arrow actually is pointing in the direction you're going, but there's someone coming towards you. Things just irritate you. A personal example for me, and it's something I choose to do, so why it irritates me, I know is as a result of the social distancing, is I order lots of things by mail because I can't go out. And when they bring the things here, <clears throat> I sometimes get irritated when they don't ring the bell or let me know the package is out there. They just leave it sitting on my front porch. I find that irritating. And some days it's more irritating than not. Some days I'm okay with it. I just expect it to be out there, so I just check. But some days when I check and I find that I'm like, dang, they could at least rang the bell. And then the second piece, which is irritating, is when a package comes, 
I spray it. I spray it with Lysol or with a Clorox and water blend that I make. Cause I just want to make sure that the packages are clean. And I start to get irritated when I have to do it. And, 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 and that's a great sign that this COVID thing is really getting on my nerves. Cause nobody told me I had to spray those packages. It's something I choose to do. And yet I'm getting irritated <laughs> what I'm doing, exactly what I have chosen to do. And some of you may be saying, she ain't got good sense, but some of you are relating to exactly what I am saying. You're finding yourself becoming more and more easily irritated. Things that did not bother you at all, you find yourself going, mm. you know, some of you before, I know people who used to enjoy social media, but because that's been our link to the world, they find themselves becoming more and more irritated with social media. And I'm not talking about political posts because those can be really irritating, particularly if someone has a different point of view. But I've had people say to me, she posts too much. Or I don't like what she posts. Or I have to see one more post of those TikTok videos or whatever. And the reality is you can control that. You don't have to be on social media as much. You can just scroll right by it. But, and that's not the point. The point is, these are things that are, 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 are making you increasingly more irritated. And do I have a solution for it? I guess my solution, and this will be a recurring theme, is to remind yourself when you feel like you're becoming more easily irritated, to remind yourself to say, this too shall pass. I just thought of something I want to share with you. So those of you who have only met me since COVID don't know or may not remember, but for most of my life, I've worn my hair cut really short, much shorter than this. I mean, really, really close cut. But since COVID, I have not been back to my barber. And so because I typically wear my hair cut short, I really don't know what to do with this length of hair. And so I have purchased all kinds of hair care products or whatever. I have that sponge you can, you know, roll on your hair and it's supposed to do something with the natural look. But I get irritated because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what, what products to use. But probably what irritates me more than anything is I want to get my hair cut. And, I, and I, it is irritating to me that I have to make choices about going to the barbershop with my mask and with my Lysol and with my sanitizer. I just want to be able to go in there, say hi to my barber, shout out to Vincent, known him a long time. And he doesn't even ask me what I want. He knows exactly. He'll go, Miss C, how you doing? And he just, no, he always says young lady. He'll say, oh, hey, young lady, how you doing? We'll chit chat. I get irritated because I miss that. I miss that connection. But again, as I've said to you, I remind myself, this too shall pass. And sometimes I have to remind myself, this too shall pass on purpose. And I invite you to do so as well. Next Wednesday begins our book club. It will be done on Zoom. I know, I know, but I was trying to find a platform where we can all communicate and you're not just typing in messages to me. I will send out the Zoom information um, in my link in my description. There is a link to purchase the book because that's the book we will be reading. Um, and if you have other suggestions of books we can read later on, I invite you to share them with me. I also would ask you to like and share this video, um, tag someone who you think this may be beneficial to, and know that I love you and I love you on purpose. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.